And what's going on everyone? It's me, ya boy, Alex the Rambler here. And today, well, I'm, it's comment corner time. The first comment is by Thomas Turner 69 Alex uses giraffe instead of swearing. YouTube, wait, that offends people with long necks, demonetizes him immediately. That's... that could happen. Bob Monster Boy, Rambler's hairline is like Poland. It's getting pushed back on all sides, oh for God's sake. Various number, Alex, leave a comment now. No hairline ones, okay? Me, well that would involve you having a hairline to mention in the first place. Love you really, Alex. Do you? Do you really? And I'm just looking through the comments and they all appear hairline related again. So that's all we have time for for Rambler's Comment Corner today. To be featured in a new comment corner, just comment below and upvote the ones which you think are funny. They don't really, they don't have to be hairline related. But today, oh boy oh boy, do I have a humdinger for you. We're going to be back on Generals and Rulers. And if, you, if you've kind of missed what it's all about before, Let's let's see that trailer again, shall we? Well, uh, last time I uploaded a video of this, I did promise more dancing if it got to 5,000 likes, and I have done. I've, I've fulfilled that promise. More dancing again at and at, at 5,000 likes. So this is the strategy game where it takes all of the. Uh, micro elements out of the strategy game and leaves you with a very, 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 very bare bones game. It's it's not it's not it's not amazing, but it's the most exploitable strategy game I think out there. And Spiffing Brit hasn't touched it yet, so take that, Spiffing. I, I got I got here first. Uh, now last time and the past two videos, I've only been able to play as Europe 1207, and it, it was meant to unlock these two when we got to, um, when, once we beat the scenario, however, it didn't do that, so I've had to play, I've had to play through a whole game of this and conquer every single tile to unlock World 1750, so please watch this whole video, okay, and, and the ads, because this, this is, this is numbing my mind, but we'll play on World 1750 today, and I bet you're thinking, well, Alex, that's not going to be a challenge, what's, what's the challenge here? Well, friendo, I'm going to be playing as the Papal States, and I'm going to attempt to conquer the world as the Papal States. Now, we don't really have a large population, nor do we have a whole lot of land, so it's going to be a bit of a tricky one. But with the power of exploiting in-game mechanics, I think we can do it. Uh, a little bit odd, but apparently we have a population of 2.7 million, so already the game has given us exploits aplenty. Uh, zero rebels... We don't have an army, so we'll need to work on that. So the first things first is, is sorting out, actually, what, what I'll do is we have a treasury. And in that treasury, we can buy things, obviously. And what I'm going to purchase is more scientists. Boom! And every turn, uh, we'll get that amount of research and research points after hiring. Bim, bam, boom. We now have 2,000 scientists and 105,000 research points. Now, what I want to do straight away is unlock, if I can... Oh no, this isn't working as well. I want to upgrade, I, I want to unlock the marksman. And then everything should be okay. So I just need to focus for now. No one will declare war on me, right? I'm the Papal States, I'm a peaceful, I'm a peaceful nation. Right? A peaceful nation. Okay, so just a couple more turns before we can unlock marksman. Then everything will be okay. Oh my gosh. But as we can see, the world is how it was in 1750, kind of. Uh, there aren't as I mean the Holy Roman Empire is, is still a thing. I don't know what Wurttemberg is also a thing. Uh, we also have the United Kingdom and all of Ireland. Uh, we have Denmark in control of Norway. We've got the Qing dynasty over here. Japan is a thing that exists, and then we've got lots of Africa. Uh, what we don't have is any of North or South America, so it really isn't the entire world, is it? Game. Okay. Boom. Hire more scientists. Research that. Effective 100. 
And do I still have some research left over? I do. So let us get extra tax. Bim, bam, boom, boom, bam, 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 beam. And upgrade the effects of our marksman. Now, in the next turn, please don't... Okay, okay, okay. No one is... No one's coming after me. That's great. I will go after Tuscany first. Negotiations. I want to aim towards war with you. In our ranking, where are we ranked? Oh. We are 33rd in army, 46th in economy, 63rd in pop, and 75th in regions. So... It might be prudent for me to hire some marksmen. And then next turn, I'm going to hire more marksmen. And then more marksmen. And then I'm going to have some forts too, I think. And what has that done to our ranking in the armies now? We're now third in army rank in the entire game. Oh, yeah. And now we can attack Tuscany. And I'll send in my entire army. Bim, bam, boom. Let's go. So if you're wondering, well, this seems like a pretty basic game. You just... Select how many troops to send, and then you conquer it. That's exactly it. That's the entire experience. What the heck is going on? Oh my god, my skin. My boomer skin. Okay, so now I believe we've taken over the entire nation of Tuscany. Uh, we can set our sights to somewhere um, like Modena. Sure. Let's go to war with Modena. And we'll also go to war with Luca. And if you're wondering, well, Alex, uh, what else can you do in this game? Well, you, you've got these buttons to click on. Ooh. Ah. And now my marksmen are going to do 35% extra damage next time we have a little cheeky war. And I'm going to obviously keep recruiting more and more units. And something I need to watch out for is rebellions. Oh. Naples has declared war on us. That's not great. Uh, luckily, I have some marksmen in reserve. So marksmen, I, I, I find at least, are the most powerful uh, units that you can get. I've realised I've been rushing through this. Um, and, and something that I wanted to kind of highlight is, is the reviews. Most of them are very positive. Uh, and it's quite confusing because there's no reason for there to be a lot of positive reviews. Really good strategy game. A very interesting game. It's good but simple. And finally we do get weird. I don't get it. So many positive reviews. Honestly, the game was one of the most boring games I've ever played. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't know if they're somehow getting fake positive reviews. But it's weird. But we'll continue our expansion of the Papal States. And try and conquer the world. And it appears it's going well so far. And I think Austria and the Ottoman Empire are at war with each other. If we see here. In fact, I think a lot of people are at war with the Ottomans. They're, they're not having a very good time. And I have, oh dear, uh, one million people rebelling against me out of a nation of six million. That's not ideal. Uh, so I'll send the remainder of my units to try and suppress the rebellions. 1.7 million rebellion. Oh my god. Okay, we can kind of see here that uh, my, my marksmen are very good at just defeating everything they come across. And we're losing a few archers and cavalrymen, don't really care about that. Uh, but yeah, we, we're absolutely annihilating Naples. They're, they're on their way out. You wouldn't really think of the Papal States as somewhere that want to kind of conquer uh, Christian lands, but who knows what the Pope is really thinking, eh, Mr. Popey Pope? Popey McPope Pope. Okay, so I now have a population of 9 million. This, again, seems quite overpowered for the Papal States. Although I do have a lot of rebellion, uh, people rebelling against me, so I'll just send my 100,000 uh, army to, to go and deal with them. That's fine. How can I support an army such as this? Well, if we click on my treasury, you'll see that I, I pretty much have no expenses. Um, it doesn't cost anything. Your units don't cost any upkeep. So I can just keep on being like, wapow, give me more. And I can. So I don't know if I'm exploiting the game exactly, more so that the game is just... bad. I'm unsure what's happened, but the cost of my marksmen are now down to 24 gold. I'm not sure that they were always like that, but now I can recruit 50,000 in one turn. Pourquoi? Well, if I research... Ooh. Reduce the cost of recruiting units. Okay. This could be another exploit that we've encountered here. 
Nice. So this is one screen which I never really understand, is that it says we've agreed to sit down at the negotiating table, but we haven't had any hostilities. In fact, we're now at war. It's a bit, it's a bit odd. And it looks like they're at war with a few people as well. So I'm going to do a massive old ground assault. Bim, bam, boom. Oh, we can do secret police as well, can we? Well, not that I really need to do that, but... Uh, as you can see, my ranking in the army now is number one. <laughs> I, have a, I have the largest army in the world, as the Papal States. This game is broken. Boom. Easy six states conquered. I am... Oh, yeah, I'm getting thick. I'm a thick, thick boy. I might have crashed the game, though. Yep. It's no longer responding. Ah. Are you kidding me? The autosave function doesn't work, so therefore I can't... Oh my god, no! That is very frustrating when you've been recording for a long time. So, let's just see. I'm, uh, let's see what we're doing as Austria. Uh, sorry, the Prussia. Pretty solid all round, pretty solid all round. Let's see how easy it is to just kind of like make Germany now, I think. Because I was, as the Papal States, I managed to secure all of this territory. And I was blasting into Austria before the game just buckled and crashed. Even though there's no real reason why they should crash, because it literally is just a map. Well, so far, <laughs> as with any nation in this game, I don't think it matters who you even select. It just becomes an absolute trounce. So, bam, bam. This is easier than risk. Easier than risk. Oh, look, I just absorbed two nations. That was easy. Uh, now, should I go after the Holy Roman Empire? Sure. Because what can they do against me, eh? Probably not a lot. Uh, I do need to get rid of my rebellion. Okay, I can... Oh, well, mm, that's not the kind of trouncing I was expecting, but it's it's okay, it's okay if I just recruit some... Just a, just a massive amount of troops, basically. Uh, just to overwhelm any opponent, and it's going to be pretty easy just to start absorbing nations, I think. Oh, Denmark declared war on me. What are you doing, Mr. Bacoan? How very dare you. And now I'll probably absorb Denmark into into uh, Germany. Unfortunately, I don't think you can actually form nations. Uh, so, oh my god, what the frick? Austria's declared war on me. Ah, and the Holy Roman Empire declared war on me. And now Austria wants a truce. Of course they do. So you can pretty much blob. In a few turns, I've basically formed uh, Germany. I could go against this blob absolutely fine, and this blob absolutely fine. I think this will be the last time I cover this game, because it's just too easy. It's 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 not hard at all. Uh, but surely, if you want to create your own Papal States world domination without it crashing, feel free to go ahead. But uh, if I was to actually play for all of this, I think I'd be here for about 20 hours just, just, just clicking on buttons. I can't do that to myself. So, hopefully I've shown you once again why this is a strategy game you might want to miss. Hopefully you enjoyed though, you enjoyed the dancing. Uh, this is goodbye from me and Heroes and Generals for probably the last time, at least the game, hopefully not me. Uh, but I'll be back very soon. Toodaloo. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Ryan Koch, Cody Freeze, uh, a second Wyatt Green, Name Name 1231, Aiden, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, Lo and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous brand supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too. I swear one, 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 one month I'll get this without making a mistake. <laughs>